Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install actual budget on Cosmos Cloud using Big Bear Cosmos third party app store. So a little bit about this series. I'm going over a home lab to installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we will be installing today, actual budget. It's a local first personal finance app. Um, this is what it looks like. They got budgets, reports, schedules, and pay payees, rules, and settings. And you can see all your accounts over here. Um, so, a way we'll be installing this on Cosmos Cloud. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cosmos. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And it's a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um... So there's quite a few apps from Big Bear Casa OS because this was migrated. And um, I did make a how, how to set up Big Bear Hot Cosmos on Cosmos Cloud video, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. So I'm going to go over here to App Store URL. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to need to go in my Cosmos Cloud and go to Market, Sources, Add Source, and then I'll add my name and the URL that I just copied up here. So now I'm going to start on my Cosmos Cloud. I'm going to go to market and then sources and then add source. I'm going to give it a name of Big Bear Cosmos. And then I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cosmos. And then I'm going to press save. And now you can see that uh, at Big Bear Co Cosmos has been added. You can also go and search and find all the Big Bear Cosmos apps. So we got the app store set up. So now I'm going to go over the files in Big Bear Cosmos. So I'm going to go over here and type actual. And now you'll see serve apps in the actual server right here. So you'll go into it. And um, now you'll uh, see the description.json. It's got the name, the description, the long description, the tags, and then the repository of where it came from, the image, supported architectures, which is AMD64 and ARM64. And then the icon and support architectures goes with the Docker and pose over here of what the Docker image supports. So the, the name is Big Bear Actual Server ser Services and then a dynamic variable for the service name. And then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The container name is going to be called service name and that's dynamic. And then the volumes, the service name, and then da data. Th this is on the host side. And then on the container side is data. And then uh, ports are 5006 on the host. And then 5006 on the container. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then the host name is the, serv uh, uh, the service name. And then the minimum version. So now you'll see the icon, and that's all the files in actual server. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to install the app. So I'm going to go to market. And then I'm going to search for actual. And then now you can see actual server at Co Big Bear Cosmos. So I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to press install. You can customize it before doing it, but I'm going to go with the default. So it's going to create a network and a volume. And there we go. Press next. So now it's going to cre create the service. Then it's going to create the networks and the volumes in the next one. So it's going to download the Docker image off the registry and uh, get 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 the Docker container up. So now I'm going to create and make that all happen. So now you can see it's uh, done that and service created. So it's successfully done it. So you can close, close, 
and then go over to serve apps and you can see it's up and running. So we got it done. So we need to make it accessible. Um, so it is accessible right now on 5006, but that's going straight into the container and you have no control over it really. So I'm going to add a URL. So I'm going to proxy into the container uh, from Cosmos Cloud. So um, now the container ports can be 5006 HTTP, and then the use host is going to be the IP of your Cosmos Cloud, and then 7200. So you're going to go to this, and you'll be able to go to the app. Um, so you can turn on authentication required, smart shield protection, restrict access to Constellation VPN. So I'm going to confirm. And then I'm going to refresh the page. So now we've set up our URL. So I'm going to need to make sure that this is not accessible on this uh, port, port right here. So I'm going to go into view details, network, and then I'm going to empty out the host port right here. And then I'm going to update the port. So now if we go back, you can see it's not accessible anymore. It's only accessible from the URL. So now you'll notice on the home page, you have the URL right here, but it says Big Bear Actual Server. Um, so I'm going to change the name of that. So if you go to URLs right here and you go to here, you go to setup and then you, you go in here. So you're going to change the name to actual uh, budget. So now once we do that, we're going to scroll down to save and then refresh. And then you'll see that the URL did change, and you'll also see the home page uh, did change too. So we got the uh, the app name changed. So now I'm going to go over the um, the UI. So uh, the the serve apps over here, and uh, you'll see update, pause, stop, restart, recreate, kill. So these are doc, uh, Docker options, and um, the ports. The networks, uh, the URL that we created, you can say auto update container and you can say C CPU and RAM. Now let's go into details. So you can see that same options up here. You can see it's running. You can see the image, the ID, the IP address for the Docker, and a healthy, the URLs again, and the CPU and RAM. And you can also see NRX and NTX. Um, so, so you can see logs right here. This is great for debugging. And you can also see that the, uh, the app in the a Docker conta container is listening on 5006. And then the monitoring. So you can do latest, hourly, daily. And you can see the, uh, the CPU and RAM here. And you can see the network. So you can go down here and you can see the events and the terminal, the compose, and you can edit it. And then um, you can see the Docker setup right here. So, so image, the, the, the restart policy, so you can ch change that. The user, interactive mode, the environment variables, and the labels right here, and devices. And then you can uh, say update container. Um, you can go down here and see the network a lot like we did in removing the host port. Um, and you can see the storage and you can uh, do a new mount. You can unmount this. Um, so let's go over to URLs. So the URL is the proxy into the cont container that we set up. So we'll go into it. So description, the URL, the target. So the serve app, and then it's going to Big Bear actual server, and then it's 5006, and that's right. And you can see the gr a green a dot right here, so that lets you know that it is working. And then the monitoring, so success, and the bytes and time. You can go to set, a setup, name, description. You can change the mode of the proxy. And um, you can uh, change the container name. And then the container port, the container protocol, the result target preview, and the use host. So this uh, this will be listing on 7200. So, so you'll go to this in your browser. Um, the use path prefix, authentication required, smart shield protection, that's on. Restrict access to Constellation VPN. 
and here's some more advanced settings and then you just press save um you can go over to security and the thing about cosmos cloud is it's really into uh making it as secure as possible or trying to and then the authentication required admin only forward ip and host headers to target i disable a header hardening you can pl play with the smart shield protection and block common bots and block request or refer a header and you can also put limits on it as well and you can change the uh, the core's origin um the monitoring so not, uh, now you'll see the request and the resources um you can go hourly uh daily and you can go down to the events and you can see what it's doing so that's a little bit about the ui on cosmos cloud so i'm going to go to the app so on the home page you can go to the euro of through here you can go in the serve apps and go through here and you can also go into here as well um so i'm going to go into the actual budget from here so now we need to put a password in so i'm going to put a password in real quick and then now you can um say okay so now you can import your budget you can view, view the demo you can start from fresh so now we're started from fresh so um there's the budget reports schedules and then pays and then rules the settings so you can see what version you're on themes formatting and then encryption and then e export you can also go over here and add an account so create a local account or set up with go cardless for bank syncing so um just create an account real quick and then you can and then now create so now you have a starting balance you can see the um what's in there and you can add a new one as well you can put the pay in there i make transfer manage pays and then you put a note in there a category and a payment and then a deposit and then press add you can also search through them you can see that, that there's more options over here like linkedin account you can uh, see up here you can sync uh, with server um you can also change lo a light dark midnight and system default so there we go and um you can also go to dark and light you can also hide things like your account over here with the eye up here so that's a little bit about actual budgets ui so I just went over step-by-step step on getting actual budget running on Cosmos Cloud using Big Bear Cosmos, a third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.